I won the best Dungeons Master trophy in the Dungeons and Dragons tournament this year. Does that count? I suppose so. It's a different kind of championship, I guess. I just love, I just booming love board games. I'm the most sought after Dungeons Master in all the kingdom. It's a brilliant game. I just love board games. I also won the Catan Championship. Wow, that's amazing! He's a different kind of knight, I guess. Maybe he could be good for a story! Yes! That's right! I think I am telling you what you Peasants, doing. move out of the way! Very, very important knight arriving. I'm Sir Michael Wilfred Egglord of the Babons. I am a knight in shining armour. I am the best knight there ever was! I have slain many, 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 many dragons! Read from the scroll, minion. Okay, I will. Wait, I'm not a minion. I'm not yellow, and I don't wear dungarees. Oh, just read it, Jackson. You do have anger. Michael Welford, Egg Lord of the Babon. Wow, that's a mouthful of a name. Okay, I'll read it. So, Michael Welford, Egg Lord of the Babon, tells from a small town of. I can't read it. Babon, Babi? It's the Bon Babinkin bun. Yes, that's it. Ba Bon Ba Oh, just give it here. So Michael has travelled all over the world to prove he is the mightiest knight there ever was. So Michael has won the year's jousting championship. That's from placing Knight Fiddlestick. So Michael has defeated many creatures, such as trolls, goblins, witches, wizards, minotaurs, werewolves, ogres, orcs, the kraken, Loch Ness Monster. Wait, is the Loch Ness Monster even real? Anyways, ogres, orcs, witches, werewolves. Blimey, how long is this? Let's get to the end. I can't handle anymore. Sir Michael is the best knight that ever was. <clears throat> Thus, they have to marry the princess and live happily ever after. Oh, this is terrible! Oh my goblins, this is really boring. They've killed so many creatures! Killing is not good. It doesn't make a knight a good knight. How dare you! It is glorious! I am the best knight there ever was and ever will be. Scandalous, I am the best knight there ever, ever was and never will be. I mean, yes. I mean, no. I am the best knight there ever was and ever will be. I think. My cue wasn't it. Sorry, I'm terribly late. What am I doing again? Oh yes, I need to scare the knights away from the princess. <coughs> there you go. Ha! You call that a roar? Rubbish. I'm going to take your heart out and turn you into a wand. Hey, run away! This knight that he's slain many dragons. He's a dragon killer. Save yourself, dragon! Why are you telling the dragons to run away? I thought knights were meant to slay the dragon. Well, except from Antonio, who seems to be hiding badly behind whatever that object is. Because we don't want this to be a stereotypical fairy tale story. What? Bah! Cowards! All of you! And you! You call yourself a dragon! Look at you! That, that's really mean! Come at me, dragon! Ah, help me! Save me, please! What is this racket? What is going on? Well, what is happening? But I thought you were stuck in the tower. I mean, it's good that you're not in the tower, but yes, that's yes, yes. Right. Well, I don't know how to break this news to you, but I'm here by my own choice. I'm not stuck in the tower or anything. But it's our sacred duty to rescue you. Why? Uh, because you're the princess, is that right? Yes. So? Nice. 
Look at me and learn from me. This is how it's done. You're very welcome, most beautiful Princess Lunaboom, Kingdom of Wonder. I am so Michael. Hurry up. I don't have all day. I heard your name from the tower. I think people on the other side of the kingdom heard your name. Thank you very much. Yes, my name is very glorious. Your Royal Highness, it's because you are a princess. In the stories, a princess must be rescued by her true love and marry them, or be saved by a true love's kiss. It is the way of the world, and so it must be done. What? No, those stories aren't real life. I certainly do not need rescuing, and I most definitely do not want a true love's kiss. Wait, what about the dragon? What about the dragon? I thought I'd introduce myself. My, my name's Dragon Pip of Neverclub. It's really nice to meet you all. Hi, Dragon Pip. But I thought dragons were meant to be big and scary. Well, you're not. What do you mean? Like, uh, it's dinner right now and you're not trying to eat us? Eat people? Ew! No thank you! My diet consists entirely of chocolate. It's rubbishing! Why would you think that I want to eat people? Well, I think it's because it's a well-known fact that dragons like to eat people. Although, I think that's boring and we love the fact that you like chocolate. Yes, dairy milk in particular. I'm partial to galaxy. Anyway, do you want anything the dragons keep in the Yes. Um, about that, I'm sorry that I lied that Dragon Pip was keeping me hostage. I shouldn't have lied, and that could have put you in danger. The truth is, Dragon Pip has been helping me. That can't be true. Wait, the dragon has tainted the mind of our princess. Thus, he needs to be slain! <laughs> Always ask, never draw your sword first. Well, the story's getting even more exciting. A depressed princess? I mean, it's not so good that the princess is depressed, but at least she doesn't need rescuing or wearing off. And it's good that she's getting help. And the witch is helping instead of cursing. And there's a dragon that's super nice and friends with the princess. But now, it's just the knights that have a problem. We need to give the story a different ending. How can we make it different? Oh, there comes the witch. Maybe the witch will change it up. We already know she's not your typical witch. Let's watch the sample first. Oh, hello there, my darling princess. How are you? Wow, what an audience you have today. Hey, witch sage. Oh, hello there, dragon clip. Keeping the princess company as usual? Oh, darling witch sage, I'm so glad to see you here. You couldn't have arrived at a better time. Ah, it's a witch! Sir Michael Welford. They're going to turn us into frogs. Oh, no! No, I don't want to be a frog! <laughs> what? Frogs? Well, if I were to guess, it is a popular myth that witches do turn people into frogs. Oh, those kind of old stories. They're obviously made up. Oh, what a world of tosh. Nonsense. Pardon. This seems to be a rude thing. Ugh, oh, stereotypes. I hate them. Me too. The knights seem to think that I am eating humans. Oh dear, oh dear. These stories are getting out of hand. You know, it reminds me of Frankenstein's monster. And the monster isn't a monster after all. What a surprise. And the knights seem to think that I need to be saved or to be married off. Knights, please come out. I'm not going to marry any of you. I don't need saving by any of you. What I do need to do is carry on with which stage and get better. But what am I going to do if I can't on your hands? There are loads of things to do. There's a whole wide world to see. Well, I never even thought about that. I was made to think otherwise. Oh, I don't want to be a knight anymore. I felt like I had to be because everyone expected me to be one. I felt like I couldn't let anyone down. But being a knight is very scary business. Yes, you should do what makes you happy. And, and what about you, Sir Michael Welford Edward of the Bobons? So, uh, which stage? Could I? I'm a far out the serious. I don't know, seek your help? I mean, I love being a knight, but I don't know. I think I need help. I also lied when I said I've, been, I've slain many creatures and people. It's just not true. I felt I had to say it in order to fit in with people. 
Of course, there's nothing embarrassing about seeking, seeking help. We can set up an initial meeting first to see if we're a good match. Finding the perfect counsellor is the most important thing so that you feel safe and can get the best help possible. And, I mean, if I'm not right, there's lots of other counsellors in the Kingdom of Wonder. Wow, what an ending. Although, like a typical fairy tale, this has a happy ending. What? Were you expecting something else? This is a fairy tale after all. Otherwise it wouldn't be a fairy tale? But some of the fairy tales out there are actually grim. And grim... Get it? No. You're right. This is not that type of fairy tale. We can make this one a happy ending. But not your typical ending. Anyone can rewrite their own stories. The princess is getting all the help they need. And now they are surrounded by supportive friends. The dragon and Sir Antonio decided to open a night and night hotel together, and it was a roaring success. Sir Michael Welford Egglord of the Babons has renamed himself just Sir Michael. They are now training to become a counsellor. Night Fiddlesticks is now known as the Travelling Night, documenting people's lives. Night Fiddlesticks is very invested in telling other people's stories. And the witch, well, the witch is still a counsellor, helping out people and creatures all over the kingdom. And they love it. There you go. Isn't this wonderful? And for us, Jesters? What's in it for us? We're going to write about this and then perform this story to everyone else. I think it's the best fairy tale ever. Hopefully we can tour the West End. Maybe win a lot of awards. I think we would all be amazing actors. Hmm. How do we end this? Let's all link arms and skip out of here. Then come back for the applause. Then we can say, how's that? The, the end. end. Ooh.